and welcome i am raghav and today we are going to learn how to open browser with extensions loaded in catalon studio so sometimes we need to test on a browser which has some extensions so we are going to learn that and in the earlier video i have already discussed one of the ways where we can install chrome extensions at runtime and i have explained in detail how to do that and in this video we are going to learn a different way where we will create some custom capabilities and create a new browser option for catalon studio so i will go to my catalon studio and here i will go to my test cases and you can see this test one I created in the last session where we created the script to add extension and then run our browser. Now I will go to a new test. I will create a new test. So test two is here and here I will just add my keywords. So I will say open browser and then I will say navigate to URL and here I can give some URL. So I will say HTTPS google.com and then I will just add a delay of three seconds and I'm adding this delay just so that you can see the extension on the screen and finally I will say close browser now I will save this and if I run this on the default chrome browser or any default browser you will see it opens a new instance of chrome and you can see there is no extension added so it is just going to google.com and then it is closing the browser now we need a browser which has some extension so for that i will go to my menu and go to project and go to settings and here you will find an option for desired capabilities if you go here you will find an option for custom so i will go to custom and i will say add and i will give any name so i will say this is let us say custom chrome so i'm going to add some custom capabilities for chrome and in the value i will say here i will say driver name is this is a drop down so i will select chrome and in the preferences i will again go here and i will say the name of the property is args and this is going to be a list because i can add multiple arguments or multiple properties and in the value i will now start adding the value here so here i can give any values for example i will say type string and i will say start maximized so i'm just saying start maximized so that it will open this particular browser in a maximized state and i will say okay and okay and i will save this now if you see on your run drop down you will have another custom capabilities and you will have this custom chrome here so this is what we have added and now if i run this on a custom chrome you will see it it will open in a maximized state so it is running and you can see this is running on a maximized browser and it is running our test so now similarly I can now use this custom chrome and I can add more options so I will again go to project and go to settings uh, let me just go back project settings and desired capabilities custom and here I am going to add more options so I will again go here and go to the list and I will add more options here so now the next option I will add is load extension so this is load extension and i have to give the extension folder now i have discussed this in the earlier video but i will show you again if you go to your chrome and if you go to your if you go to this if you go to the extensions folder you can click on these three dots and go to more tools and here go to extensions and here you will find all the extensions here and make sure you make the developer mode on enable developer mode and go to any extension that you want so in my case i am using this momentum extension and i want this to be loaded i will go to the details and here is the id the id will be visible only when you make developer mode on and copy the id and then go to your folder for extensions so which is here if you go here 
this is the path for windows which is this i have also added it in my earlier video so here is the location i will copy this and make it available in the notes here all these notes will be available to you so if you are on windows this is the location c users and your username app data local google chrome user data default and extension so if i will go to my windows i will go to c users and you have to go to your username in my case it is administrator and then there is a folder called app data which and then go to local and here you will find google and you will find chrome and user data and you will find default and here you have to go to your users folder so your user folder you will go to google and then go to chrome and here you will have a folder called default and inside this default folder you will have a folder for extensions and you will find all your extensions here now after you go here you just have to copy the id from here so this is the id copy it from here and in your folder extensions folder search with this particular id name so there will be a folder which will match this id and that is a folder for that extension you can copy this and then you can paste it at any location so i will just paste it on my desktop and it is here and you can see this is here and now this is the folder so now i will copy the location of this folder and you have to go until this version number so copy this location and on my catalon studio i will say load extension and give this location and also i will say another option is i will say disable extensions accept and i will give the same location so this is the location and this should also come here so these are the options i have added start maximized is uh, optional and then i have set load extension and disable extensions accept and i have given the folder for the extension and i will say okay and i will now try to run this i will say custom capabilities custom chrome and let us see the result now so it should open chrome browser and it should have the extension and you can see the extension is here so momentum is already added and the extension is there and it is now running properly so you can use this and this is how you can open a browser or you can create a custom browser with extensions loaded and then you can do your testing i hope this session was useful for you thank you for watching